Hi, Zeus here. Today I had the fun of global number two populating on my map. And this player was until very recently global number one and is the top player on the Shilong or China Team L team currently. So I'm going to show you the battle live as it developed. So global number two just spawned on my map. Let's uh, scout him out. So he's got uh, eight boosted dice. And um, twin lasers, which are uh, the hardest configuration to beat with the heavy choppas that are currently on main base. And then his uh, boom cans are... Uh, 46,000 health and the cannons are about 37,000 health. So just to give you a sense of how strong the defenses are. And let's go, let's go attack this guy. See if we can uh, knock him down. Oh, he's online. All right, well, let's go into the base scout again and then it's easier to uh, hit the attack button from there. We're just going to hit attack here until he gets offline. So th there's been a, a bunch of drama at the top of the global leaderboard. And while I'm waiting to get into this guy's base, I might as well explain to you what's going on. So China Team L, which has dominated the top of the global leaderboard for a couple years now, has uh, been executing on a plan to uh, give the gold ring or the number one position to a series of their accounts. They had uh, a total of uh, five accounts that were at one point number one, two, three, four, and five on the global leaderboard. And they all changed their name to the same thing, which was uh, Overlord Loves Angel Babies. And um, they've been rotating these five accounts through the number one position one by one. And then what happened uh, about uh, a day and a half ago is one of the uh, other players on their China Team L team stepped out of line and opened all of his clouds and took the number one position even though he wasn't allowed to. One eternity later. So this player who is now number one, uh, Li Yang, has sparked a civil war among the Shilong or China Team L teammates and uh, half of them are following the new leader and half of them are following the old leader overlord and his uh, minion uh, leads, leads the team called eric anyway i finally got in so i'm dropping my heavy choppas and uh, some critters to make sure that my bombardiers don't step on mines i had to clean up two my boom mines i missed with uh, bombs and now I'm just um, a little concerned about the group of four mines there on the right, so I'm going to send another bomb there to take those out. And uh, my heavy choppers are spawning heavies, and everything's working great now. The lasers are coming into play, and you notice one hit from the lasers is almost enough to knock out a whole bunch of my bombardiers. So i got to suppress the lasers with some shocks. So i got two shocks down. And then... Um, the, the idea of, of how I'm attacking this base is that I've got my bombardiers on the far right and the far left, and the lasers aren't supposed to <laughs> go that way uh, and attack the troops in the middle. But it doesn't always work out. So I've already lost a few bombardiers, lost another one there, and uh, sending my Kavan down the middle to try to uh, draw its fire. Now... The base is nearly beaten at this point, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a tour of the base and absolutely, completely destroy it. So I'm going to uh, flare first to the left here, and then we're, we're just going to take absolutely everything out. And the goal, My goal here is to destroy every single building and every single mine, and, uh, and then take a victory lap around the headquarters. Because i got to tell you, I really don't like uh, China Team L because they cheat. So uh, one of the team members came to Red Hot Legends Task Force chat in the Telegram uh, just the other day 
and admitted that they uh, share accounts and play each other's accounts, which is not legal, so that they are able to keep the accounts online uh, 24-7, and uh, that, that, that gives an illegal advantage to them, which is not allowed under the rules. And uh, earlier, another uh, member of the team who's uh, currently global number three uh, admitted to us that they pay $3.10 for uh, other top 1,000 pool players to skip their favored players who are up at the top of the leaderboard. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty annoyed by cheaters, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it out on this guy's base here. And um, at this point, we pretty much destroyed absolutely everything. Uh, I got a group of mines over there on the left, so I'm going to have to throw down a um, box of critters there. And I threw a mine down to get that one mine there. Okay, so I got all the mines, all the buildings, and now we're going to have a little bit of fun. So we're going we're gonna to flare over to the left. So we've completed a complete circle around the headquarters, a little victory lap, and now we're out of gunboat energy, so we'll have to kill the base. So... So much for global number two, the current top player for the China L team, or Shilong or Dragon as it translates into English. So cool, global number two goes down. I get uh, two large crystals as a special reward for that. And I had very light losses actually on this uh, attack, even though I did the victory lap. Um, so, Pretty, pretty cool. And with that victory, I am now number 114 on the global leaderboard. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give it, us a like on the video. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. And thanks as always to Hercules for help with the video editing.